in the greatest name of Almighty Allah, who is Rahman and Rahim. Welcome back to Dr. Najam Lectures. Today we will perform external obstetric examination, determination of fetal topography in uterus using Leopold technique. Before examination, introduce yourself to the patient, ask her about identity and explain about the procedure after taking verbal consent. Make sure patient's bladder should be empty to avoid any false diagnosis. Now how to perform this procedure? Patient lie in supine position, knee a wide apart for relaxation of the abdominal muscles and stand right to the patient and most important is that abdomen is fully exposed from pubic symphysis up to the zephoid process. For the fundal height assessment, make sure to correct the tilt. Sometimes uterus is tilted towards the right side or it tilted towards the left side. Mostly it is tilted towards the right side. On inspection, we will see abdominal distension, umbilicus at center and linea nigra. It will start from the pubic symphysis up to the umbilicus. Sometimes it is appear up to the zephoid process. And at the lower abdomen, we see stria marks, which is known as the stria gravidium. Now palpation, we use ulnar border of the left hand to assess the fundal height. During palpation, from pubic symphysis up to, up to the umbilicus, we divide it into the two equal parts. If the fundus of the uterus is present between two points, then fundal height is 20 weeks. If the fundus is present at the level of the umbilicus, then fundal height is 24 weeks. Similarly, from the zephoid process up to the umbilicus, we divide it into the three parts. If the fundus is present at the first part, then fundal height is 28 weeks. If the fundus is present at the second part, then fundal height is 32 weeks. If the fundus is present at the level of zephoid process, then fundal height is 36 weeks. Now, one more important point is that fundal height is corresponding with the gestational weeks. While palpating, if you feel any resistance at any point, from that point up to the pubic symphysis, we measure the fundal height using measuring tape. Now, if I feel resistance at this point, from that point, I am measuring fundal height in centimeters. So now, now it come 35, uh, 35 weeks. Fundal height is corresponding with the gestational weeks plus minus 3 centimeter between 20 to 36 weeks of the gestation. Now I will explain about the grips. First one is fundal grips to determine what part of the fetus occupy in the fundus. If you feel softness, it will be breech. If you feel hardness, it will be head. Second grip is known as a lateral grip. First stabilize one side and palpate to the other side. If you feel smoothness, it will be big. If you feel irregular, it will be limbs. Third grip is known as a pelvic grip. Pelvic grip are divided into the two types. First pelvic grip, second pelvic grip. First pel pelvic grip, head are facing towards the head of the patient. It determines which part of the fetus located at the lower pole of the uterus. Second pelvis grip, two hands are facing towards the patient feet. If two hands are converging, it means head is not in pelvis. If two hands are diverging, it means head in the pelvis. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe Dr. Najam's lectures. Like, share and subscribe.